Yeah, it's all about just living healthy and then you'll last longer. I like it. I'm excited to be working with Life Strength. Really cool uh, products and technology. So it's exciting. I'm excited to be like a part of it. I don't smile all the time, unfortunately. I wish I did. But generally when I'm climbing, especially outdoors with friends, I'm very content. So that precedes smiling. And when I'm climbing, I'm generally having a good time. I can be very immature as well as mature. I've been climbing for 13 years and competing for about 11. So I think when it comes to climbing outside and competing, I feel well experienced, but I still have a lot to learn. Um, I like to learn from my peers. I think that better than any coach is your friends. Um, every individual kind of has some facet to learn from and you can always improve your weaknesses as well as augment your strengths. So I think that especially in climbing, which is such a physically demanding but also mentally demanding sport, it's important to be open to other people's criticism and other people's experience. I feel like all of my role models, my, my closest ones I can think of are my friends. But I was just in Spain with Robin Eversfield, and I really look up to her. Um, I look up to Angie Eider, who I compete against frequently in the World Cups, um, just for her depth of experience. And because she never gives up, she'll be struggling in a competition or some, some move is too reachy for her because she's little. Um, she's short like me, but she finds her way around it, and I think that's inspiring. I think um, Chris Sharma is also always going to be one of my inspirations. This fall I plan on learning trad climbing and then I'd like to take my technical skills from difficulty climbing and apply them to bigger walls. Um, and perhaps starting with multi-pitch sport climbs and then transitioning to multi-pitch trad climbs. I think that you it's, it's best in climbing to experience all facets of the sport. So I try to boulder and I try to sport climb and I'd love to try and try. I start orientation at Columbia. So I'll return from Europe this summer and go straight into orientation. And shortly after I'll take off a week of school to go to the Paris World Championships. Um, in the meantime, while I'm at school, I'll be training in the gym, um, trying to improve my shape just by climbing in the gym and training and making trips as frequently as I can to the rock when I have time off school and on weekends. I think the most important thing to know while you're starting to climb is to not get fixated on grades and to know that they're just a number and a way to tra track progress. Um, but there's no reason not to push yourself for harder grades um, and there's no reason not to experience amazing moderates. Um, I think you should climb everything that inspires you aesthetically and that is physically demanding. Awesome. It's a wrap. Nice. Clap. How many zombie U's would it take to overcome Chris? Oh, just half. Half of one of you? Half of a zombie of me would overcome Schulte. Which half? My better half. <laughs> oh, good.